What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick Tens. I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I really wanna get back to work on this boat. This is the part two of this well-built 2022 1652. Complete tournament rigging job. First video did great with the live well. Now moving on to some bigger stuff with the graphs, this new Garmin force trolling motor, and I'm just gonna get right into it because the thing is dope. It's time for me to get back to work. All right, so I unboxed this brand new Garmin Force trolling motor last night. The thing is sick. I was gonna put it together, but it's a little bit more involved than your normal trolling motor. I mean, look at this bracket. It's very futuristic looking. It's got a power button on top of it. Um, this foot pedal is sick. I really love this foot pedal. Cool thing about that is it uses the same exact power connector that you use for all the Garmin graphs. It screws into the bottom and you run your cable up the groove right there but the cool thing about this foot pedal compared to say like the Altair foot pedal that I have in my boat it actually has a real working pedal this pedal moves so you can feel which direction your trolling motor head is pointing unlike the Altair where it does not move and it has a button on the front and back the pedal always stays in one place I always have to look at the head of the trolling motor to see which direction it's going in but this one actually does not fit into a standard foot pedal tray and it's a lot deeper than the Altera tray I sell that's only an inch and a half. This one is three and a half. So I made another tray today, which this will sit inside of in the front deck. It's perfectly flush with the edge of it, so it should work out great. I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes in here, get a coat of paint on this thing, and then I'm gonna attack this Garmin trolling motor and try to get this thing assembled. All right, so I got the quick connect bracket mounted and I went ahead and installed the arm mount of the trolling motor. Now I'm going to install the trolling motor head on here, which basically just has a pin that goes through these two holes right here. Also inside of here, there's a gas piston here we have to connect. And there's another one underneath here. I'm kind of excited to see how easy this thing is to deploy with both of those gas pistons in there. Let's get back to work. All right, so the Garmin Force trolling motor is installed, and I must say, this thing is really sick. I mean, the quality of it is definitely top notch. I'm a Garmin guy myself. I only run Garmin grass in all of my personal rigs, but uh, I've never tried one of these yet. This uh, dual gas piston system in here, it really makes it easy for the stow and deploy. And I really like the way that they have this housing has a hole on it so you can fish these wires through here and they come out the back and they're completely protected. I'm going to house these back through a hole and under the deck and back up through that foot pedal tray. So that's the foot pedal tray that we just made. I've got it painted, got a grommet in there to protect the wires. I'm getting ready to cut a hole in this front deck, which is kind of exciting because I want to see what's in there. Okay, so there is still a lot of foam up inside of these front decks. Um, I did have to remove all of the foam. 
some diamond plate braces down in there. A lot of space in there. I do kind of like this support they have right here. That's pretty nice. Get some extra support going up the middle right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna build like a kickstand like I always do. Come off of this brace and go down to this floor rib right here. Something extra support to hold this deck up now that we cut through this main support rib. Then we get all this mess cleaned up. We'll get back to work. All right, so the front deck is supported. This is a one and a half by one and a half, one eighth inch aluminum angle. It spans from three of these original supports. One, two, and three in the back. What I did was I shot a rivet up this angle into these existing ribs. You can see one sticking out right there. Then I came back with a one inch square tube, one eighth wall thickness, and I basically put a kickstand in here. I wedged it tight, welded it at the bottom into the existing rib, put a rivet in the top, and then welded it here too to make sure it's sturdy. These are not easy welds at all. We have a mirror image of that on the other side. This will make sure that this deck never flexes or gets loose. Definitely support it. That gets us into our front deck hatch. Inside of here is gonna house 200 amp hour Dakota lithium batteries. I'm gonna put one on this side and then mirror image one on the other side. The only reason I'm spreading them out like that is to keep the weight even. And I'd normally put them in the center, but with this big hatch, we have the batteries right in the center. It's gonna make it hard for him to put things on the side. This is his only storage compartment in the front deck. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut some holes. Got a one and three quarter inch hole saw right here. These are the grommets that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put these in up underneath of here in this back wall. Uh, probably two over here because I'm gonna mount the black box in here also. That way I can fish all the wires from the batteries back through. I'm also gonna end up putting one coming up from the bottom up underneath of the trolling motor bracket. All right, so we got both of our battery trays installed in this existing front deck. I had to build a custom little bracket down here to install this on the front side. Um, I think it turned out pretty sick. We've got one on either side. But um, the thing is, the inside of this hatch compartment ain't really crappy on it. I mean, you can see it's hardly painted in some spots and I am pretty anal when it comes to this type of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the entire interior of this hatch before I put the batteries in here and start running the black box and stuff for the pan optics. All right, so while the front battery compartment is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and install this rear battery. This is a custom tray I built. Um, usually I would just weld these to the bottom of the boat, but since this boat is already painted and I really don't wanna mess up any more of his paint, I built this one to where it can attach into the transom with these three holes right here. And then I'm gonna put some double-sided sticky tape up underneath of this just to hold it down. It's probably not gonna go anywhere anyways, but it wouldn't hurt to put it underneath there. It's gonna sit right under here, just like that. That will house one of his Dakota Lithiums. It's gonna hook up to the switch panel. It's gonna control all the electronics in the boat. The other two up front are strictly for the trolling motor. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in. All right, so as far as stuff that comes with this trolling motor, I have two more unopened boxes. This box has the propeller in it. There's one more box that has a stabilizer arm, which we may put in after I finish installing everything else. I'm gonna go ahead and put this prop on here. It's very simple. There's two bags inside of here. One has our hardware, one has our prop. 
got a hole in the shaft right here, which basically, turn it this way so the pin doesn't fall out. But there's a pin in here. This is your shear pin. It's basically just like a stainless steel dowel pin. It goes through that hole and it keeps the prop attached to the shaft. All right. Then we're gonna install the prop. The prop has a groove in it right here that receives the shear pin. It's just like every other standard trolling motor. Now that's locked in. Inside this little hardware bag, we've got this little machine washer, which basically that's your first piece. Then you've got a regular washer, a lock washer, and a nut. So you're gonna put the washer on and the lock washer, then your stainless nut. This thing does not have to be super tight, but you do want it to be tight enough, it's not going to loosen up on you. It's that easy. Alright guys, I hate to do it, but I'm going to have to call this one. As you saw, we installed this sweet new Garmin Force trolling motor. I'm very excited about this thing. I really want to see how it performs on the water. It's a cool trolling motor. By far superior to any of the other trolling motors I've used, and I've used them all. I also cut the hole for the recessed foot pedal tray, reinforced the front deck, got all the holes cut and grommets installed, and the battery trays installed for the batteries. So part three will be the graph installs and the pan optics. I hopefully will be dropping that video this weekend. So thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, like and share. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway here shortly. So let's help me grow the channel. It's time for me to get back to work.